Hello, I'm Philip Duncan with your seven day Australia only forecast brought to you by Weatherwatch TV on YouTube and recorded on Thursday, November the 16th. We've got some good news for those who need rain, at least for many of you. There are lots of downpours, thunderstorms on the way for the next week ahead. They are hit and miss, but they're going to be widespread. So that is good news. Now, not everyone will get them. We're going to break down the rain maps at the end because they do paint a very good picture for many of you. But not everyone will get them. And so we need to be very clear of that so that you don't get um, angry when you don't get a downpour that you might have been expecting because you saw the headline on this video. So let's try and break down what is going on. At the moment on the animated wind map, the dark shading you're seeing, that's all low pressure. That means instability. And on top of that, northerlies from the tropics coming down here, southerlies from the southern ocean coming up here, meeting in the middle. Alice Springs at the moment, plenty of thunderstorms around there. And we'll be seeing those thunderstorms and heavy showers moving out to the east over the next week ahead, especially for Queensland and New South Wales. But not everyone, not everyone will get rain. Let's have a look at the upcoming downpours. This doesn't really cover next week. This is just going into the weekend, the next three days. Shows those thunderstorms around Alice Springs and Uluru, and then also out here uh, inland from Gladstone and northwest uh, of Brisbane. That's where we're likely to see most of those afternoon showers developing and going into the evening. Again, just sort of look at this as a risk zone. Don't focus quite so much on the totals, because if you're next to a thunderstorm and don't get it, you get zero, and if you're right under it, you could get 40 millimeters or more, just depending on how much moisture drops from it. This is the map I want you to take a closer look at. Now, it doesn't show place names on it. I'm sorry about that, but you, hopefully you know where you live on this map. Now, if you see white or red or pink, that's not much rain for you. But if you're seeing the darker blue areas, that's where we're seeing most of the thunderstorm activity. So you can see it, it's both Queensland and New South Wales that are getting it. But the further north you go or the further south you go, the drier it will be. So not everyone will get the relief that you need, but there's certainly some relief on the way. So let's try and break it down. Got the rain maps at the end to make sense of it all. Kicking off with Friday, and we'll start as we usually do in the southeastern corner here, Melbourne, 18 degrees for you. You've got a dry week on the way. Most of Victoria actually is looking fairly dry. The further north and the closer to the mountains and ranges you are, the better chance you've got of getting some of those afternoon thunderstorms and showers developing next week, but not so much for the very south here. Now, if you go further up, uh, Gold Coast, for example, 29 degrees today, 27 degrees for you though on Friday, and your temperatures actually drop because this is a cold front moving up. So next week, Gold Coast, Queensland area, it'll be a little bit cooler, but plenty of thunderstorms developing for you inland. That is the good news. And going up towards Cairns, 31 degrees and sunny for you, and sunny also over here in Perth. Uh, in fact, you've really got a sunny few days on the way with your temperature around 30 degrees. And actually, just while we're talking about Queensland, Emerald, 42 degrees today for you, down to 40 to, uh, as we go through here on Friday. So that's pretty warm, uh, but you'll be getting into the 30s once we get into Saturday onwards. So the temperatures are coming down for you as well. This cold front moves up and it just does bring a little bit of relief as far as temperatures are concerned for some of you, mostly coastal areas. So kicking off on Saturday, again, Adelaide, you're warming up a little bit, up to 24 degrees for you. Hobart, you're only 16 degrees, a couple of isolated thunderstorms or downpours around the ranges for you later on. But if you're further north in Lonnie, 23 degrees. So 16 in Hobart, 23 here in Lonnie. That's the weather for you coming up over the next three days. It's also going to be a bit cloudy around Hobart, but sunnier the further north you are in Tasmania. Also on Saturday, Alice Springs, 30 degrees with a few thunderstorms developing for you. And Charleville as well up here, uh, sorry, up here, uh, you've also got some thunderstorms and 35 degrees for you. So fingers crossed you get those uh, heavy rain events that you most of you want. We're hearing from a lot of you that you want these downpours to hit you, but not all of them are. So here we are as we go through to Sunday. Now Sunday, 24 degrees in Sydney, that's the warmest day you've got over the next several days. So um, not as hot as you were just a couple of weeks ago. That's due to more coastal breezes coming through or not a lot of wind, that may be part of it. So fairly cloudy for you here on Sunday, inland areas will be seeing those showers. And Alice Springs still seeing some showers around here, 30 degrees for you. And Mount Gambier down here in the southwestern corner of Victoria, your temperature around about 22 degrees. That'll be your warmest temperature of the next seven days coming up.
So let's get into next week where we see more of these afternoon showers and thunderstorms developing. So as you can see, there are dry areas in between. So it's not a big band of rain that brings relief to everyone and goes from point A to point D and everyone in between. This is going to be just here and there and in between some, some downpours, some dry areas. So it'll be hit and miss. That is good news though, because it's off and on every day next week. So as you can see here on Monday, not so much in the north of Queensland, not so much inland as well. But Monday, weather-wise, uh, we are seeing places like Wagga Wagga in the south here, 28 degrees, isolated showers for you in Wagga Wagga. Uh, Sydney's got showers all week, but they will be hit and miss. Not everyone in every suburb will get them, but the surrounds around Sydney certainly will. Uh, we're also seeing Brisbane around 23 degrees with thunderstorms developing for you, and they'll be around all week for Brisbane and the Gold Coast. But again, they might be more inland rather than coastal areas because the sea breezes push them further inland for you. Also on Monday, Bathurst, Orange, Dubbo, those places, all seeing plenty of thunderstorms inland. Uh, Griffith, you're a bit on the edge of it, maybe a little bit further out away from them. Now as we go through to Tuesday, Hobart, coldest day of the week for you, 14 degrees is your temperature. Uh, you got showers around. By the way, you're only 12 degrees today, so 14 will actually be a little bit of a, an improvement from where you are right now uh, on Thursday. And Cairns, further to the north, 31 degrees, and you've got showers now moving in to the north. Not very many though. Uh, if you do need nor uh, showers north of Rockhampton, there won't be a huge amount of them on Tuesday, but there will be a few. And on the other side of Australia, Perth, you're gonna feel the heat. It's gonna be about 36 to 38 degrees. Some places inland could be into the 40s by the time we're into Tuesday of next week. That's a hot uh, wind coming through for you. And our final map for Wednesday shows a little bit of low pressure here. More thunderstorms though around Queensland and uh, New South Wales. These maps are all for the end of the day, 5 p.m. on the eastern coastal side. So uh, it may, be well, may, may well be dry for most of the day up until the end of the day for most of these thunderstorms. But as you can see, across the coming week, there is some hit and miss relief. So let's take a look at this a little closer as far as uh, rainfall is concerned. Here is the snapshot for all of Australia. So you can kind of see most of the wet weather is between Rockhampton and, well, I'd rather say, I'd actually like to say Sydney, but this map doesn't really show quite so much into New South Wales. So this area here is talking 50 to 80 millimetres. But you only have to go a little bit further north in these coastal areas between Mackay and Rockhampton, and you're only about 5 to 10. So that's important to understand. Now let's zoom in a little more, because I want to show you some various maps. This one is GFS, the American Rainfall Map. Uh, I've just taken this snapshot because this is the zone most likely to get the heaviest downpours between uh, New South Wales and Queensland. So you can see most of them up here, uh, these areas in purple getting up to 100 millimetres. So that's from the GFS model. This is the European model, and it shows more of the heavy stuff coming down into New South Wales now. And these totals are getting up to 100, 150 millimetres. So that's the European modelling. And then we go to the Australian modelling, and that shows, again, more downpours coming into New South Wales. So the reason I'm showing you all of these is because each country takes a kind of a look at the data and works out what they're going to do with it. And what it says to me is, Anywhere really from the middle part of Queensland all the way down to a roughly about Sydney area, there are plenty of thunderstorms and heavy showers on the way over the next week, but they will move around. They will be a little bit hit and miss for various parts of the country. Anyway, that is all from me. I hope that has been helpful for you. We'll be back again one week from now. Thanks for your support on Weather Watch TV. We really do appreciate it. We'll see you one week from now.